This document is a proclamation signed by the mayor of the city of Fort Worth, Sharky Stovall, proclaiming the month of March as Police Appreciation Month. Mr. Berkowitz, how did this come about? We felt after we had our police ride in this Christmas time that we weren't aware of the problems that the uh, policemen in the city of Fort Worth have. We felt that uh, we of Elif Shamblin Lodge of B'nabrith, it would be our civic duty to uh, try to inform the everyday uh, household civilian personnel what the problems are of the police department and how we can help them. Just how are you going about that? We are trying to get together in homes in different parts of the city of Fort Worth uh, with men and women of the area, bringing in the policeman from the beat, a representative from the police department, and sitting down and talking to them and letting the people in the area find out that a policeman is a human being and a person just like we are. Hopes appear to be dimming for a new Fort Worth library, at least for the moment. The city council seems to be willing to let the matter take its own painfully slow course with a series of civic meetings and other public opinion getting gimmicks. Councilman recently invited three out-of-town librarians at a cost of $2,500 to visit Fort Worth and to present their expert opinion on the best location for the proposed new library. The men came, and after a helicopter ride and some hours of meditation at the Fort Worth Press Club, the out-of-town committee recommended a downtown site for the new book repository. There were no surveys taken, just an expert librarian's opinion rendered by the three visitors from out of town. The city paid the $2,500 fee for the survey, or for the opinion, because as one councilman put it, we pay our debts here in Texas. This same Fort Worth City Councilman told Channel 8 News that the opinions of out-of-town visitors, or experts as the case turned out to be, may be somewhat less today than they were a few weeks ago. Although the opinion may prove to be of little value, the city was morally obligated to pay the fee, according to the same councilman. Then there's the question of what becomes of the old library property. Some uses currently being discussed informally by councilmen, a site for the Cramp County House Corporation Courts, and maybe even the site of a new and expanded city jail. All of these items at this point, just the product of informal discussion. The much needed new library at this time, manana, tomorrow. This is Art Sinclair reporting for Channel 8 News. This program seems to be a program that will be more or less uh, meeting some of the economic and the social needs. It will more or less cause a use of school building year round. It will cause a the youngster to have more of an individual type of learning. What is the outcome of the program? What will happen? Well, the outcome of the program could be that uh, eventually uh, all of the schools in Dallas would be on a year round program or a year-round school program. Has it worked anywhere else? Yes, it has worked in other places in uh, not only high schools but in colleges. And then it has failed in some places also. It appears that the uh, if the people want this type of program, well then the program will go. Mm -hmm. What are the advantages? What are the basic advantages to the students with well, this program? Well, there are many advantages. Uh, one of the advantages we may some to go, it will give more of an individual type of learning. It will spread our manpower out in such a way that the uh, youngsters will be able to be on the market year-round rather than just being thrown on the market during the school year, during the summer. 